The great circle of life. What begins must have an end. The leaves and plants that lay lifeless in this backyard become a buffet for creatures like the pillbug. Decomposition is part of the natural order of things. This process consists of organisms breaking down the dead and decaying parts of the environment and reducing it to base nutrients, then returning it to the living ecosystem. This has kept forests and pockets of nature going for millions of years, a self-sustaining way of life. Pillbugs, earthworms, snails and millipedes form an important component of the larger decomposer fauna. All of these animals return organic matter to the soil, where it is further digested by fungi, protozoans and bacteria, hence making nitrates, phosphates and other vital nutrients available to plants. The true masters of the soil are the earthworms. Their sole responsibility is to filter the soil and create a rich and fertile soil composition for plant life to flourish. Most earthworms feed on undecayed leaf and other plant matter. Others are more geophagous, feeding on clay and soot to filter out the nutrients from other more harmful sources of food in their environment. The soil excretions that the earthworms produce are nearly 10 times more nutrient rich than the surrounding topsoil. It is well worth it to have a few creepy crawlers in one's garden. There are other keepers of the soil, the gastropods. Snails and slugs creep slowly along their course, gnawing on dead foliage with their teeth that wear down after great use. Their mucous membranes need very wet environments to allow their top-heavy bodies to move around at, well, a snail's pace. Despite the slug's curvy, obtruse appearance, its exterior is actually almost completely symmetrical. With the exception of its pneumostone, or breathing pore, where it takes in oxygen to its single lung. The mucus secreted by the foot contains fibres which provide traction for the slug when climbing steep surfaces. It must be busy all year round for these decomposers. The seasons change in the blink of an eye, and many plants will not survive the next spring. Through these organisms, these factories of nutrients and crucial minerals, life can carry on to the next generation of plant life in the ecosystem, so that balance is maintained.